sick kiss So you can cross me off that list This is the table that I have previously and it was just not doing it for me. It was just way too small from here to here. So I didn't have enough space to work with it. So we'll see how it turns out once I put the new one in. And the new one does have two drawers, which I will be using to put some of my favorite makeup instead of having it. Like these products will probably go in there. Like my bronzers blush and highlighters and i will be able to switch it out uh every time this is all the mess that i have going on but we click quickly gonna move this table back to where the black one was and we'll see how it looks Okay, so now I'm trying to arrange everything i already have the table set up it gave me a lot more space uh from like in depth but i just quickly want to show you guys that i do have this unit that i had over there but then i changed it over here and took the table that was in here and completely took it out of the room that just gave me a lot more room to place my soft boxes that i am planning as well to put them in the wall and hang them in the wall right there and only have movement with my ring light in case I want to film somewhere else I can just bring my ring light and use natural light with it and yeah if I actually do that I will have a lot more room but I do have a lot of space in this room to actually work with I feel more airy more light more more of everything actually uh changing the table from dark to white actually made a great great uh difference so we'll see right now how i arrange this and he, you'll see the process and we'll keep it like this but i'm actually gonna be uh putting some of this makeup in the drawers i like how this looks so i don't want to put anything on top I want to keep it that way because that looks nice and it looks it makes as a gray background if i wanted to film this way okay from this unit i will be grabbing a couple of things so i can arrange it over there and later on i'll be grabbing more containers to put them in here for more products coming in so i'll do that right now I'll just take everything out and start placing them over there okay so i have my clear containers over here and we are ready to start placing them inside the angle will be a little bit weird but please bear with me as i try to make this as good as possible for you guys okay so as you can see it's a large uh big space it's a large drawer so i'm gonna be trying to be i'm gonna be trying to put all these containers inside and by the way these are from tj maxx and this ones are from Ross. I don't know if they fit. I don't know if I like this tile or if I want to do this. I still got some space down there. Like if I wanted to move it that way and have products in here, I could. But if I wanted to move it this way and have some of the products that I never use in the back. And I actually found that I can fit this. Uh, nine pan palette from ColourPop right in here. So if I wanted to have that very accessible for me, I can do that and put them in here, especially this nude one, uh, which is like an everyday palette. So I can put that right in here if I wanted to do that. I actually have this container that I can take these drawers out and use them that way. And I can use this where like this to store palettes in my big dresser right here and then i can utilize those things as well so i might end up doing that i did it one time and i fit a lot of palettes in there but we'll see i don't know so i'm going to be using these two containers in this drawer i can put right here if i wanted to that's from the little container I think I'm just feeling this vibe right here and I really like how it looks. So I'm going to start filling up with all the products that I have. Hopefully giving 
more space to grow and just have it over here and have a clear table let's see okay so in this one i kind of want to place some highlighters blush and bronzers and powders and all stuff in this one and we'll do in the next one maybe foundation and palettes maybe we'll see Okay, so I kind of like having this square part right here because all my blushes fit in this part nicely. So I can have my bronzer laying down like, like this. And then I'll just keep this ColourPop highlighter right here. And that will be closing nicely. And so I can do primers and concealers here and here or primer concealers and foundations we'll see like this and then i'll put my my primers i'm almost done with this ones i i only have that much left so i want it And that will be looking like that. And I think I really, really like how it looks. Looks very nice and organized. We'll see what I do in this place. Oh, I actually want to put this moisturizer as well in here. That it a little better like this. And do this. I have this Becca one. I don't like it. I might get rid of that. I've been saying that for forever. And I think this elf one is way too dark for me. But we'll see in the uh, summer right now. Maybe I put this ones that are in like a tube form on the back. I actually have more space right here. I'm actually going to keep this back up right up there in the back. Ooh, this is, this is like being really good. We'll do this side now. Okay, let's come this way where, where I give all my palettes. And this don't fit in there, so these ones are too big. I'm just gonna try to uh, grab the ones that are smaller. Maybe I will throw in there a couple of face palettes. Like, I want to put this one so badly in there. So I actually feel like these two are the same, but this one has a little less vibrancy, which I really like for work. And this one is more intense, obviously. And I like that one to go out. So I don't know if I want to have the, both of them in there, but we'll see. I'll just take them there too. <laughs> I like this one as well, but it's a little bit old. I'm actually going to put it in there and see if I like it. If I still like it. If I don't, I might just uh, get rid of it. Unless I still have like a big, um, I don't know, nostalgia for this because it was one of my first ones. So maybe I just keep it for like uh, nostalgia reasons. I actually like this one too which has a lot of these neutral colors that I use for every day, but I don't want to put this one in there. As you can see, the Patricia Bray BH Cosmetics Pure, this is really good. Then I have this Revolution and Racial. I have this one from Morphe. I have Jacqueline Hills Volume 1. Tammy and Revolution and my beloved BH Cosmetic palette. This is the best of the best of BH Cosmetics. <laughs> I love it. 
then over here i have the other patricia bray and then i have the show palette from revolution i have this one neon and then this one from nars then i have this little elf palette which is really really good some of the colors right here are really good so that's what i have in my collection right now and also i have this one and i have a lot more uh eyeshadow palettes coming in but i want to do an unboxing for you guys so it's kind of like a first impression and that's why i'm showing you only this and here are the bunch that i decided to try and fit in there if not they will come back to the same place they, <laughs> where they were and please okay so i definitely want to keep this one i want to see if it fits somewhere because this is what i use every day you guys this is a beautiful beautiful palette i know <laughs> it's old and you might not be able to get it but if you want something similar to this and it's actually better you can always get the uh what is it patrick star palette the one size looks exactly the same as this one i don't know why nobody's talking about it so i want to put this one in here look it fits perfectly in here this one is another one that i really would like to have here so that one just fits right on top this is the bunch that i have and right here i love this concealer but it's a little too dark for me this one is in the color 120 light vanilla way too dark so i'm gonna put that there because i i usually uh, mix it with something like this which is too light for me this is the elf hydrating camo concealer in the color warm fair warm and it's very very light so i mix the two and it makes it perfect And I think next thing up in here will be mascaras. So we'll do that. Oh, the one that I really love is my Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal. This is really, really good. If you like a very good one, this is a very good option. I do not like this Wonder Extension mascara. This is so weird, you guys. I I put this on my on my TikTok. I don't know if you could see this, but this is goopy and gooey and all those crazy stuff. I don't really like this. So crazy. But I still have it. I didn't spend any money on this. I was sent this one to try. I just didn't like it. Another one that I don't really love is this one. Everybody's going crazy on it. And I don't see the hype around this. <laughs> it doesn't, I don't know, I really love this one. Like, I put them against each other, and this one was like the lashes were more lengthened, more beautiful, more sparse. This one was clumpy and crazy. Another one that I really like is this one from L'Oreal. This is the Volumen and Superstars red <laughs> carpet mascara. <laughs> it's okay from the mall in a store and i don't really like this one but i the one that was uh for like waterproof i remember back in 2009 i really loved it but i didn't know any better so <laughs> i have to use it again but i i don't think i like this anymore so that's it for concealer and eyeshadow base and mascara and my palettes we'll move on to something else i don't know what to put here i think um will be setting sprays and we'll see what else so here's how er how everything is looking from my view here i have foundation powders bronzers blushes everything and then over there, I just have more room to like grow. All of those are gonna be empty. And then I have these to go through still. So stay still, this is gonna be a long one. Okay, so now we have all of this to go through. And I was thinking kinda to put it in here, but we'll see. 
if I like that. <clears throat> this is way too long to be in here. So maybe like the smaller ones. Yeah. Okay, but we'll kind of stand the ones I really like the most. Or like the thinner ones. Oh, I love this one. This one's from Essence and it's really freaking good. I really love this one from NYX. These two are good. I rarely use them. Oh, this color is everything. They're a little bit dried out, but ooh, I like it. So surprisingly, all of those fit in there very good. So we go with ColourPop. Is this ColourPop? No. like that and then this will be like things that I really really need I have this here I have this little thingy I'll have some of my eye drops in here I'll have this tool right here in this one I want to have it design it area for some earrings so i feel like this is where i'm gonna have them so i also found these elf ones that i have laying down in here so i'm just gonna put them in here there's three right there just to have them accessible because I haven't even played with them. I think I used one of them once or this one, I think. But I'm so excited to use this again just as a topper for whatever. Or maybe I just use this. I use a transition color and this in my lid. That would look so, so pretty. I found some more of my lashes. I'm gonna put it with the rest of the lashes. Where did I put them? Was it here? No. And I also found these rhinestones that I want to use for my eyes in a beautiful look. So I'm just going to put them right here as well. Okay, so I feel like this part right here is missing something back here. So I'm going to grab some of the foundations so that I put away. And I'm going to place them in there because I feel like it's missing something. So I'm going to grab these two, which are the tallest one, and I want them to look pretty in here. So, so much better than how I was before. Maybe I can put in there this, which is taller, and not this one. Let's see. And then I'll have this back in here. Like so. And this can actually come back here and this can leave in there. Wow, that actually looks very good, you guys. It's coming together. I end up having an empty one of this because I want to put lipsticks that fit in there like this and yeah that's how it's looking today i think i'm i'm gonna leave it like this for today and if i have any other changes i'll just uh keep you posted but this is how everything is looking and i still have an empty box right there but yeah if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more organizations coming up because this is not the way this is going to stay. I will probably get individual thingies for this part right here and keep you and keep posted for an organization video from this place right here, which is a, it's trash right now. Like, ee, it's very crazy in here so please don't don't look at that and actually this looks 
somewhat organized this is my nail yard but i still have to put some more work in here and i also have to get this uh notebooks out of here which belongs somewhere else but yeah keep posted for more videos coming your way because i actually have to do this side which is my office i have to do an organization video with this one as well so stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one bye bye Sick kiss.